understand they were, uh, they had to keep shoving your intestines back in. Uh, I don't usually like to talk about shark bite stories since the media already spends way too much time covering that. But today is a special circumstance. We are celebrating the most amazing shark bite survival story possibly ever. The shark bite story itself is pretty spectacular, and I actually recommend that you read it in one of Rodney's books, or go and visit Rodney yourself because he's not shy about talking about it. But in today's episode, instead of focusing on the gory details, we're going to talk about the miraculous details of how he was able to survive. Because if just one thing had gone wrong, Rodney Fox would not be with us. Rodney was bitten at a spearfishing tournament. A boat was ready to whisk him away to shore. When the boat got to shore, there was one and only one car waiting there. It was the tournament organizer's car, which he had never parked there before in his life. And not a single car had been parked at that beach in 13 years. Another friend took off running down the beach looking for the nearest phone. The first person his friend came across was a police officer who knew exactly where to find a phone and how to arrange the ambulance. A short while later, the car Rodney was in met with an ambulance, which raced Rodney across town at a minimum speed of 95 kilometers per hour with a two motorcycle police escort as other officers monitored the stoplights and made sure that the ambulance was waved through. A practice that was stopped only two months later. The importance of all of this time really comes into focus when you find out that the physician told Rodney that if he had been there even five minutes later, all of his veins would have collapsed from the lack of blood in his body. That's how close he came. Thoughts of Rodney's new wife, Kay, also kept him conscious and fighting for life, a major factor in his survival. And this brings us to the reason that we're talking about this survival today. This is Rodney and Kay's anniversary. Happy anniversary. We're glad you're still with us. And thanks for turning into a shark conservationist. 